There we go. Hello, hello. I am now streaming, and it did not cut me off, and we are playing a game. <clears throat> Good to have you all here. Oh, boy. Sorry about that. I had to... Well, first, I was just um, checking some stuff out, and then I was showing Devin something, and then I had to fix uh, some video. I don't know how to explain it, hello there. but basically, whenever I was uh, streaming... It was fucking up my game because I had the wrong, uh, like, number of pixels on screen, so it was overla overlaying my scr uh, stream with, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. Also, for the few of you that are in here really re uh, really soon, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the future. Kit Kat, are you a fan of Konosuba? few of you watching this on YouTube and the few of you who are in here really, really early. Yeah. Are you a fan of Konosuba Kit Kat and chat? Ah, you don't know what it is? Okay. Well, for the people that do know what it is, I bought a, I bought a Konosuba video game because I was actually curious to see if it would be good or not. And I played at the very beginning, and it was actually pretty fucking funny. So, at some point, you'll be seeing a Konosuba video game. But it's basically a comedy anime. <clears throat> I'm gonna go take a sip of my coffee since I laughed so hard that I got tired. So, I'll be right back. But, you know, it, it's kind of like a... It's another visual novel, because you guys were loving Doki Doki so much, I thought I'd buy another one. So that's my second ever visual novel game. Give me a few seconds. Since you were so patient and came in so early, I thought I'd uh, share that knowledge. But, you know, I have a, I have a bunch of games that I'm really looking forward to uh, um, to playing on a uh, stream. So, wait, wait. I see. Oh, there's one in the tree over there. Really? Huh. You know what? I actually might go grab that. Honestly, I don't mind this. I'm surprised it only costs 10 rupees to get a fortune told, to be honest. Oh, it's fucking... It's just all my face. Why is it taking so long to load? You wanna... Yeah? Is my controller DC in the middle of this cutscene? Like, the fuck? I know that does happen, but really? But yeah, no, you guys, uh, I have other visual, uh, I have other, like, you know, um, story-based games, and I said I thought I'd buy some more since you guys love Doki Doki so much. Um, so I wanted to get at least one other game, and that one was on, like, you know, Black Friday sale for half off. And I remembered Konosuba being really, really funny, so, um, probably I'll play it once I, uh, re at least rewatch the first season of, uh, Konosuba. It's been a while, so I've not seen it in a, in a bit. But I do believe it's gonna, you know, I need to watch it so I at least remember exactly what's going on and who is who. But, as soon as I get done watching season six of JoJo's, um, I'll probably, I'll probably watch Konosuba, and as soon as I'm done watching Konosuba... I will then uh, do that. Now, I know that some of you guys may say, like, well, Edgy Gamer, don't you watch stuff really fucking slowly? I do, but hear me out. Um, I will probably speed up that process a little bit. I'll probably go back to, like, actually watching an episode every night. Oh. <laughs> instead of watching an episode every, like, four nights, I'll actually watch an episode every night instead. Instead of, you know... Like I said, every few. I think I should I should be able to handle that. 
No, they're not nearly as good as they used to be. The only reason I even bought that game is because it was half off. And you know, half off is quite a bit. In all honesty, like half off is actually a worthwhile amount, you know? Normally half off, you're like, you're like, wow, there's a Black Friday sale, yay. You know, I need to get rid of some of my money. I will give you some money, here. May the spirit of love descend upon you. If you continue to pray for peace, someday you'll be surrounded with love. I wonder what that does. But yeah, no, most Black Friday sales are just kind of ass nowadays. Um, I, and you know the funny part is, I actually looked on the PlayStation Store and the Xbox Store, so I'm not downloading anything on my, uh, my, uh, what is it, on my Switch. Downloading stuff on your Switch is a great way to fill up your Switch's memory and run out of room. I'm not doing that. Um, I'll download some of the software, but I will not be downloading much. Well, it's because, like, your Switch only has so much storage while you're um, you know, your PlayStation and your Xbox, you can buy more storage. Your Switch, you can only hold so much. That's why I don't own any big games on my Switch. In fact, even that Konosuba game, I tried to get on the PlayStation. But it was, like, super expensive shipping to get it on a play PlayStation. Like, I think for the PlayStation disc, I had to get day one ship uh, shipping. Or, sorry, same day shipping. And it was, like, $15. And I was like, well, that kind of takes away the whole point of the sale, doesn't it? Um, even though I'm really big about, you know, achievement score and all that stuff, but that's okay. That's okay. It Now that they have it to where your Switch, your, your Xbox, your Switch, and your PlayStation will actually tell you the amount of hours played, that's, that's the most important thing to me, is I love to know exactly how many hours I play. That's a... I know that may sound really dumb, but that's extremely... Wait, where's Mr. Cock? Mr. Cock! Come here. Thank you. Still, come on, girly. I really miss those sales. Uh, where was I going? Do 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 do. Oh fuck. Oh boy. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, edgy gamer. The master of the disaster. Oh, but Mr. Cock is gone. All right. Oh, and now that chicken's gone too. Okay. You know, Link, that was some fantastic form. You nearly ate shit on the side of that cliff. If I'm honest. I got, um, fair. I got a terabyte card for my Switch, so I would never have to worry about storage. <clears throat> I shouldn't have to worry about storage for the most part. I still worry about it occasionally, but for the most part, I'm good. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go beat the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go beat the water temple, because we've kind of, you know, ignored it long enough, so I'm just gonna swallow the bullet, and we're just gonna... We're gonna... That sounds terrible. Bite the bullet. Whatever. I mean, it's not really even biting a bullet, it's just, you know, doing this thing I've been putting off for so long. So, I'm excited for it, though. I'm excited for it. Also, I just realized the dimensions of this game is a little off compared to, like, me, but that should be fine. I think, oh, you know what, I think it changed because I did put the game in 480p. I mean, I had to, though. If I didn't, it would fuck up. It was basically either put the game in 480p... Or have it overlaid with green and purple. And I was like, okay, 480p it is. I mean, to be fair, though, I don't think Wii games even play at 1080p. Yeah, Wii... The Wii didn't use HDMI, did it? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure HDMI was the the thing that kind of got the Wii U sold. is because it had, it had HD. It didn't have HD. I don't think the Wii had HD at all. Do not tell me this rock came back. No, I don't think it did. That was the rock I never destroyed. That's what it was. Okay, never mind. I was about to be super salty. I was about to be the saltiest sailor. God, this is so weird looking. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't think it did. But we're good. We're, good. we're very much underwater right now. This looks weird. It's been a while since I've done this temple. I remember getting really confused in this temple when I was younger. We're gonna see how confused I get nowadays. I like to think that I'm a, a little bit smarter now at the, uh, you know, when I'm in my 20s. I'd like to think I'm a little bit smarter than I was when I was, what, like, seven? I, w I would like to think so. I would like to think so. You know, three times the age, three times the wisdom. I may have had the Triforce of Courage back then, but now I've got the Triforce of Wisdom. It's all up here, in the brain, in the big old noodle, upstairs. There we go. Alright. Well, I will not dawdle. I will... Uh... Oh, do I need to kill them? I don't think I follow. Why is the whole beginning of this room riddled with treasure chests? What? Arrows. Uh-huh. Oh, I see what it is. I'm so blind. I also have no hand-eye coordination, apparently. Also, garbage at video games and 3D spaces. You got ten bombs. I'll max out my bombs and my arrows at least. That's probably so you don't get stuck. There we go. Well, I made it to the first room. I've al I'm already doing well. I've yet to fuck up, but stay tuned. It's still possible. Now, if I can beat diff if I can beat difficult strate uh, strategy games, I feel like I can play. I can play Zelda. Okay. Oh, I forgot. This is where you gotta use your bomb arrows. Whoa, that's treacherous. Whoa! Don't you think you ought to knock down those stalactites hanging off the ceiling first? They don't look to be very stable. It'd be very... I'd bet they'd break very easily if you hit them enough force, don't you think? I did not mean to do that at all. Okay, game. Fine. I will make bomb arrows. If I must. I just don't like the slower fire rate of the bombs. That's bomb arrows, I mean. That's probably the only downside. I mean, to be fair, though, if you could spam them, it'd probably be a little, a little horrifying. Fully automatic, explosive arrows. I mean, come on. Oh no, it's the little hamster monsters! Uh oh. Expose him! Huh. They're that big? They do not look that big. My goodness. No one told me anything about that, that fucking size difference, though. Kind of scary. When I actually look at it and think about it for a moment, it's kind of terrifying how large those things are. That means that thing is like as large as like a uh, like a medium-sized dog, and it's just aggressively screaming and running at me. Like I just I just don't feel safe. I'm in danger, Chad. I hope you are not Uku. I'm looking for Uku. Damn it. More bombs. I did not use ten bombs. Why are you giving me so many bombs when I don't even need them? It's a weird, uh, it's a weird thing to be handing me so much. Sounds like Hawkeye arrows. Ooh. Is this a duel along a bridge? I do like duels along bridges. Very cinematic. Huh. So there's running water around the outside. There's long hallways leading to this main area from both sides. Okay. Oh, is that a Lizalfos? Oh, that wasn't hard. Fairly easy, I'd say. Why is that one literally like a house door? What? 
Oh, fuck. It's some Dark Souls shit. That's the problem. Because you're the bomb. <gasps> I'm the bomb? I'm gonna blow up? What? How much time do I have left? <laughs> Will I survive, Kit Kat? What's the mortality rate of bombs? Hey, it's Uku. And they're horrifyingly deformed child. I have to go that way then. You know, I can already, with the little bit that we've done, I can already see how I got, how I would get confused in here. This already looks like some shit that would have confused me. Yes, you will live. Oh, thank God. Good. I was not going to be able to sleep at night. Alright, let's go ahead and see. These are definitely a lot less, this is definitely a lot less straightforward than like, uh, what is it? Than the Skyward Sword dungeons, but I feel like, I don't know, I don't mind dungeons being straightforward, and I don't mind them being kind of freeform either. I feel like it's nice to kind of like figure out where you're supposed to go. But it's also nice when, uh, you know, you kind of have a clear path, yet you have obstacles that are appearing before you that you need to figure out. It just depends. Depends on my mood. Depends on how much, how willing I am to smack my head against the wall, you know? But yeah, no, Kit Kat, I have a lot of really, really weird games. I think one of the weirdest games that I own that I would really be excited to play is uh, Katamari Damacy. That is a very weird game that I own. Now there's something swimming around here, but I don't know. Those are piranhas. I'm assuming that's piranhas, and I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sit here and dance with piranhas. I'll say that's your favorite weird game? That's a favorite weird game. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a, that's a weird game. I've never played it, but I do know about it. And I do own it. I have Katamari Damacy Reroll um, for the Switch, which I should download and play at some point. I have I have the uh, have it with me. <clears throat> I just have to put it on my Switch, is all. Hmm. Well, yeah, no, I see I see this confusing the heck out of my uh, childhood self. Because right now I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck to go. That's the way I came. I can't go that way. I can't go that way. I can't go over the ledges here. That makes sense. Um, I can't really jump over the sides here. I don't think there's a lever to pull on this side, is there? No, I need the hook shot. That leaves this. Which I don't think I can go this way. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't go that way at all. Okay, so that's a no-go. I remember there being flowing water as an important part of this dungeon, but I don't remember how important. Oh, I can keep going. That must have been where I messed up. I didn't know I could keep going. Okay, this is definitely what I need to do then. Yeah, that was my problem. I did not realize you could keep going. Nice. All right, cool. Up we go. Yeah, no, I'm, I might get a little stuck here and there by smacking my face into the nearest staircase over and over again. BT dubs. All right, BT dubs. Making a small cross stitches for uh, stocking stuffers. It's a new thing I'm learning and starting. Okay, that's fucking awesome. What got you uh, to start that, um, Kit Kat? What got you to want to learn how to do that? Gracious, you're the night that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we've found each other again, let's stick together for a bit. Hmm. I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. We found Uku. The nipple chicken. Yep. Exactly. It's definitely a little weird, though, I'm not gonna lie. A little horrifying looking. I mean, to be fair, though, a lot of the monsters in this game are so dark looking, it doesn't even look like they 
sometimes don't even look like Zelda enemies. All right, can't go that way. Man, this has got a lot of options for me to use, huh? Doesn't it? Like this is this is uh, incredible. The broad amount of options it's giving me. Does that do anything other than fuse through my legs? I have no idea. Correct direction? Question mark. Hey, we found a correct direction. Oh, I one shot them. Nice. Was not expecting the one shot. It's funny as I'm playing this dungeon, more and more of it's coming to my mind as I go. Well, this is one of the rooms that did not come to mind, but that's okay. Okay. The worst part about it is I keep looking for stuff to do with the hook shot. Like, normally I'll look over and be like, what the hell do I do with that? But, like, I already know what item I need, so... It's just a constant, like, okay. When do I get the hook shot so I can start doing these puzzles? Because they're apps. I am surrounded by hook shottable things right now. Oh, this isn't moving. I see the I see the, the dilemma. I need to fill up this uh, room with water. There's that. That's a nice little treasure chest, but is that really going to help anybody? I don't think so, but we can still hope for the best. Actually, you know what? This might be a key for the dungeon. And that would be pretty much all I need. I think there's I think there's a few doors that are just kind of locked that I need to figure out how to get through. Hopefully it's a key. It is a key. Now I gotta figure out which fucking door to unlock, because I think I passed by like two or so doors to unlock. No tech type. It is not your day. It's my day! You know, I also really like how they designed this uh, Zora armor. I like how the the feet are flippers, but they're not like 100% flippers. Like they're very much flippers, but they also look like you could walk in them without too much hassle as well. Like I said, it seems like they kind of did a, like a lot of the similar design philosophy whenever they went for uh, higher warriors. They said higher warriors, they were totally fine going uh, free form and not going tunic based. I like the I like the tunis tunic-based outfits of uh, the older Zelda games, especially Twilight Princess, I think they did a really good job. Well, at least with this one. I think the royal armor doesn't look nearly as nice, or the rich armor, or whatever they want to call it. I thought that was looking cool and interesting to start. I got two small starter kits, and it's going going well as a queen, making four personal ones. Hey, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with learning a new skill and just, like, going with it, you know? Sometimes those uh, those new skills can be quite a gift. And if you're actually able to make stuff, like, actually make a gift, it is extremely meaningful. Like, using your talents to make a gift for somebody is about one of the most personal and wonderful things you could possibly do. So, I think that's absolutely delightful, Kit Kat. I mean, that's honestly why, um, with that one gift of mine... Okay, cool. I was making sure the random off chance are not watching the stream. Um, the girl I'm giving my, uh, where I sang that, uh, song for, it's like, you know, I can't really make things, but since I know how to sing, that's something I could do. It would be really nice. Because I can't really, I can't really draw. So I can, I can, I can write, and I can sing, and so you know, you kind of have to like pick what you can and can't do. Cause I've got my one, my one friend Allie who made the, uh, what is it? Who made the flowers that I, that I put for my uh, thing um, that I showed you guys the other day. She's actually like crocheting most of her gifts for people. Oh, uh, what's up, PJ? 
Um, HL2, it was free last week. What's, uh, HL2? You have to let me know. I don't, I don't know what HL is. More bombs. You know, sometimes I ask myself, do I have enough bombs? And this game answers with, uh, never. I never have enough bombs. I feel like this game just expects me to run out of bombs. Like, it just expects me to constantly run out of bombs. Damn, your childhood must have been really sad. I mean, that's what I usually get told. But like I said, you're also... You're typing HL. You'll have to give me the non-abbreviated version. I'm not... I don't know what HL is. You remember that game called Black Mesa? No, I do not. I do not. Yeah, no, I've, I have never heard of Black Mesa. Like I said, if, if you let me know what, like, HL stands for, I could probably let you know if I've played it or not. I just, I literally have no idea what HL stands for. Do you have Steam at all? Oh, I don't play anything on Steam. That's probably why. I didn't have access to PC or Steam or anything until I was, uh... 21 or 2. 21 or 22. Yeah, no. Me having a Steam library of any kind is a very recent, very, very recent thing. I didn't really play anything. And even now, I don't really play on my PC. Like, you guys gotta think about it. Even nowadays, I only play on my PC just so I can uh, play emulators of games I already own. Someone else can explain what HL2 is to you. Well, no, what I'm saying is you can. You don't have to explain it to me. You just need to tell me the name. If you just, instead of just typing HL, if you type the full name of it, that's really all I would need, basically. I'm saying I might know what game you're talking about. I just don't know the abbreviation, is what I'm saying. It's like, it's like Dark Souls. If I was like, oh yeah, DS1. Like... Some people may may know what Dark Souls is, but they don't know what DS1 would stand for. I have no idea, PJ. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Since I don't know a frame of reference outside of you said it's for a, it's on Steam, I'm not I'm not going to be able to guess it off of a hint. I do apologize. <laughs> The only hint I will be able to understand with, like, PC games is if it's, like, something, probably, like, Markiplier somebody played, or if, um, what is it, or, like, like I said, just, like, the direct name. But, yeah, no, as far as, like, childhood, um, I didn't really, yeah, no, I'm not, I didn't play on PC at all when I was a kid. Um, I played on my, that's horrifying. Oh no, it's the bubble bug! You know what? Fine. You're done. There we go. But yeah, no, I, uh, I played a lot on my Nintendo consoles. I played on a game... A Game Boy Advance SP. I played on the GameCube that sits down in front of me. I played on a Wii. I played on a Wii U. I played on a DS, a 3DS. Um, I played on. What else did I play on? I played on an Xbox 360. I played a very, very, very minuscule amount of PS2, and I mean a minuscule amount because I didn't even have a save uh, saving data card. Um, I played pretty much nothing but Nintendo consoles for a majority of my life. I would play Nintendo and then a very, very occasional Xbox. Like, extremely occasional. Ooh, yellow. Um, hint to the company that makes it has a CEO of this jolly old fat fella. Yeah, no, see, like, that's another thing. I will not know anything about CEOs of video game companies either. Yeah, no, I... 
The only PC games that I immediately think of are like Undertale, which I don't even think is an, only a PC game anymore. CSGO. World of Warcraft. Uh, solitaire. I don't know. Like I just I I am I am an absolutely just not a PC gamer in the slightest. Um, ooh, Inscription. That was a really cool PC game. I saw Markiplier play. Ooh, the Hoonie Pop. I've got the Hoonie Pop collection. I own all three games. There you go. Um, Bejeweled. There you go. Bejeweled. I think that's a PC game. Zuma. I think that's also a PC game. Um, Space. Spaceship Pinball, I think is what it's called. I can't remember. Pretty good one. Minesweeper. I've played some Minesweeper. There we go. I, yeah. What is it called? Is it called Starship Pinball? I've played some pinball game on a on a la on a computer before. Maybe it's Space Pinball. Let me do that. Hold up. Yeah, Space Pinball. 3D Pinball Space Cadet. There we go. Space Cadet Pinball. That's what it, that's what it was. Yeah, Space Cadet Pinball, Solitaire, um, Minesweeper. Those, I mean, th that sounds really stupid, but those are a lot of the games that I played on a computer when I did when I was uh, younger. Might be showing my age a little bit. But I'm only 24. I'm not really that much older, per se. <laughs> I was going to say, do you just slide down this? Whee! Polar Bear Golf? That sounds pretty cool. Never, ho never heard of Polar Bear Golf. God damn, this is a long-ass water slide. Wait, did I walk up something for that long? I'm trying to think of anything else I would have played that would have been PC. Pretty sure that's the only thing else that I played that would be PC. Nothing else I played. Yeah, no, nothing else I played would have been. Nah, you're okay, Kit Kat. We were talking about, like, um, com what is it, uh, computer games. And I was letting them know that, like, they were like, I had a really sad childhood. And I was like, I don't, I just didn't really have any access to computers. Yeah, no, I don't know Pajama Sam. Like, pretty much, if it's computer related, I almost certainly don't know it. Uh, yeah, I, I think I told you guys before, I played almost exclusively Nintendo games when I was younger. But that's okay. I think I had a lot of fun. Um, when I really look back, I played a lot of, like I said, Mario. I remember playing Super Mario Bros. 3. I remember playing, you know, uh, Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story, um, Might and Magic, Clash of Heroes, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 13, Final Fantasy 13 2, Halo Reach, Halo 3. Um, I remember playing Pokemon Red, Pokemon Fire Red, um, Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Ruby. I'm going the wrong fucking way. Uh, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon White, Pokemon, uh, I think I'm just going with White too. Uh, Pokemon, yeah, that was about like the last part of the childhood as far as that goes. Pokemon, um, Rescue Ranger. Um, Star Fox Adventures, which I own. Um, Soul Calibur 2 for the GameCube, which allows you to play as Link. Um, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Mario Superstar or Super Slugger Baseball. Um, Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Um, if I were to turn on my GameCube, I could honestly tell you most of them. Lots of Zelda games. Zelda Wind Waker. 
um, Twilight Princess, which I'm playing now, which is this, this is the version that I played when I was younger as well. I played this specific version. Mm. Can I even go all the way around? I think I can. Oh, okay, I see. I see the problem now. I need to somehow get the water to shift to go another way. Okay. I kind of got that, but I wasn't sure how the water was going down. I thought the water was just kind of going around, but no, it is indeed going down. I fucking missed. Nice. Hells to the yeah. My brother teaching me Halo's top childhood memory. He taught me with the needler. S showed me where to go and how the basics worked. He had gotten all the one player achievements and needed a player two. He'd get 100% of the game. That's super wholesome, Kit Kat. That's wonderful. Um, I will say I played most of my games by myself. Oh, there we go. Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart DS, um, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. There we go. Thank you. You just help. You just help remind me of a bunch of them. A bunch of Zelda games: Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Original Zelda, Zelda 2, um, Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds. You know, I I played a lot of Zelda, especially a shit ton of Zelda. That's definitely the boss fight, or boss room. So I, second floor, I need to enter, enter stuff on the first floor. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Do not have the bombs on the equipable. <clears throat> not a good idea. Yeah, this, I need that to move, but I don't know how to make that move. Maybe I need to jump out from here, but I don't think you can. There's no switch right here. Yeah, that needs the hook shot. You go that way. Maybe I, for some reason, can go that way now, but... I think that leads to the beginning, does it not? I don't know. Maybe it just raised the water level, and I do need to go that way. I just don't remember how to get over there. That must be what it is. Yeah, no, honestly, after playing this for just a few minutes, I can very much see why I got confused as a kid. This would have had me fucking lost for days. But yeah, I actually, I do remember playing Star Fox uh, Adventures a lot, actually. It's the one that everybody absolutely hated. Yeah, that one. I actually own that one, by the way, and I do plan on doing a playthrough at some point. I think that would be extremely epic for me to actually go back and do a Star Fox Adventures playthrough. You know, to kind of get into the mindset of the people that play it. To kind of... Maybe kind of try to understand why people hate it so much. But I think a lot of the reason people hate it is because they already played Star Fox. Me, who had no frame of reference for Star Fox, and it basically played like a Zelda game, just did not mind it at all. So, that would kind of check out. Go this way. Definitely killed me often while teaching me. I remember playing Battle Rounds and killing myself before he could kill me because he would get mad. I played a few games. Oh, Mario Galaxy, Mario Sunshine. There we go. Um, Skyward Sword, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. There we go. You're just slowly reminding me of childhood games. I have a couple behind me. Sonic Mega Collection, so I include Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Mr. Me uh, Mr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Um, then I also played... Uh... Like we uh, Wii Sports Resort. I played them. I played so much Wii Sports Resort, by the way. So much Wii Sports Resort. I'm talking an unhealthy amount. I'm talking an addictive amount. I'm talking I need a prescription to get rid of my Wii Sports Resort addiction. I played that shit sun up to sun down all the fucking time. Sword fighting, frisbee, golf, frisbee golf. Uh, yeah, I'm mixing it up. I know. I know. Bowling. I played, uh, what was it? What was it? The, the airplane mode where you traveled the entire map? I played the fuck out of that. 
skydiving, basketball. I was playing everything. Does not look like I can go that way. Yeah, which maybe I'll play that comic. I'll play that game at some point. I mean, I'm slowly getting a bigger uh, me collection, ever so slowly. I'm just kind of adding random characters from different playthroughs I've done into it, whether it be anime related or other stuff. But yeah, I mean, I have a pretty good connection to my childhood, like anybody else does, but I'd say my connection to my childhood is probably not nearly as near and dear to my heart as uh, other people. Seems like a lot of people are a lot more edgy. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Milk? I actually ran out of milk. I did run out of milk. I had, uh, I do have, are you, Fucking kidding me! I have tea. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I could I don't think I could stomach milk right now if I tried. I ate too much today. Usually when I drink milk it's actually rather filling, so if I uh <laughs> if I drank milk today it'd probably fill me up a little bit too much. Um I actually had uh, my Japanese food today. Ja Japan Japanese food today and as we all know my ja when I get you know what's funny what's funny did you also have Japanese food today Mirbani? there we go I'm not like this at all but when I drink milk sometimes I feel funny I mean that's what I've heard a lot of people when they drink milk it upsets their stomach which blows my mind as in I've told you guys uh, several times milk settles my stomach so <laughs> so dumb. It's so dumb, but I love it. I'm gonna have maxed out money here in a moment. It's not bad, but I drink too much. Uh, it's death bad. We need an Unreal Engine 5 MMORPG Zelda open world game. I don't think I'd play an MMORPG Zelda game. I'm sure a lot of people might, but I, I certainly would not. <laughs> I, I just can't get into MMORPGs. If I were to get into any, it would definitely be Final Fantasy XIV. That's the most I've ever gotten into one, but man, that's that's by far the most. Also, um, what makes Unreal Engine so good, by the way? I know so little about like, in, um, you know, like game engines and everything. I've always wondered that. Like, what makes them so fancy? Like, what makes Unreal Engine different than, like, any other engine for, uh, video games? You can't kill the jellyfish. Alright. Hell, that just gave me the big suck out of nowhere. I was not asking for the big suck, but all right. Up we go. How the hell do I blow that up? Oh, wait. I don't think I went this way. Let's see. No, I did go that way already. Okay. It's not really helping then. Um. I need water bombs. I don't have any water bombs. <laughs> huh. There might be something I'm missing here. Oh, oof. Don't do that. Nope, I can't go in there. Fuck. Um, yeah, I need water bombs, but I don't have any water bombs. How the hell would I get water bombs then? I actually don't remember. Yeah, no chat, the more I play this, the more I realize why I would get confused as a kid. The more this makes sense. The more my confusion as a child makes sense, because my absolute, like, where the hell am I going as an adult is certainly 
justifying my child self. I mean, whatever, I guess I'll go back. You have an acid reflux issue, so milk and dairy really help you. Ah, you know what? Yeah. I didn't know milk and dairy actually helped with that. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, see, I can't get over there. Where the hell should I go to, then? Um, I can't go that way, and I can't go the other way. Where do I go? I don't want to look up a tutorial for this dungeon, chat. I'd, I'd rather just figure it out. I did not mean to shoulder bash myself off the ledge. Maybe there's something over here I'm just not seeing. That's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. There's no way... I would need water bombs, though. But where would I get water bombs? And this right here is blocked off, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Adding base to uh, acid will weaken or cancel out both. Oh, I didn't know that milk was like a base. See, I didn't pay that much attention in, in chemistry class, if I'm honest. Ah. Okay, that, I think that's the mini boss room. I remember that. I don't know how to get in there, though. Mm. Going the other way just leads down a path I can't go without water bombs, so I need water bombs. This area's got nothing for me, so there's nothing to go there. Hmm. I actually don't know. Yeah, I, uh... I'm gonna be honest, chat. The game's got me stumped right now. It's okay, though. We, uh, that's why we reassess and reevaluate until we figure it the fuck out. It's, it's, it's the classic Zelda temple in every single vi in every single Zelda game. Getting confused in the water temple is very par for the course for a Zelda game. They always make their water temples very mechanic-heavy. And uh, I think that's usually where it kind of confuses everybody, including me. That is okay. Oh, I can't go that way. I need to get that side to go this way. But to get that side to go this way, I need the hook shot. To get the hook shot, or the claw shot in this game, my bad, that's what it's called, it's the claw shot. It's not the hook shot in this game, it's the claw shot. To get the claw shot, I need to go back to the area I was. To go back to the area I was, I need water bombs. I need to get water bombs, I need to leave the dungeon and come back. You don't think I'm supposed to leave the entire dungeon and come back, do you? Because if so, that is absolutely unhinged and wild. There's no way in hell this game expects me to completely leave the dungeon and come all the way back in just with water bombs. You don't think it would do that, do you? I don't think they would design it like that. I feel like they'd give you water bombs at some point just so you don't have to completely leave the dungeon again. Oh, don't worry about it, evil hamsters. It's fine. It's not that deep. What the hell is that noise? Let's hear a loud thud noise. Whatever. Um, maybe I need to follow this. No, because following this leads me over to the other area, which doesn't give me anything. Yeah, this doesn't give me anything. This leads me to a dead end. Not going to let me forward. Here's you, invisible walls! Dude, what? 
actually what? Okay, there's mad invisible walls inside here. I'm not even gonna pretend if, like that made any sense. I don't know if I don't know if you guys can see it, but I was running in place while trying to run into the side. Weird. There is more of a va a base, a base. Which is why when you add acid to milk, lemon is immediately curdles. I did not know that. I was highly unaware of that. Mr. Nightmare Acid Reflux, I mean, hello. You're making me think of the fucking, what is it? Snow, uh, Heat Miser and Snow Miser? Or Cold Miser? I can't remember their names. I can't wait to hear those songs inside of uh, the retail store again. That should be beautiful. You know, putting one foot in front of the other and everything. <laughs> Let me go back down here. Maybe there's something down here I'm missing. I refuse to believe this game expects me to completely leave and then come back. There's no way it expects that. Arrows is kind of pointless, but that's okay. No way. There's no way it's telling me to do that. It just doesn't make sense. This is blocked off by the panel that needs to move. Indeed it is. Okay. So... I need to get that water over here, but as I said, to get that water over here, I need to get a water bomb, which requires me to leave the dungeon, which requires me to go to do something else, which... I guess that's just what I have to do now. Wait, 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 wait. Right here. I think we found it. 20 bucks. Amazing. Not even slightly what I was looking for, but, you know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, I guess, whether it be Zelda or otherwise. Nice. Nice. Ah. All right, whatever. I guess we have to use Uku, then. This is probably the most valid Uku has ever been. Um, let's see here. Where do I need to go? I need to go the opposite of what I'm facing. I need to go that way. Okay. Oh! Why am I swing down? What are you doing? That's fine. Fine. Link. Link. Please swim. Thank you. Link is swimming like he's trying to get eaten. Good things I'm watching from my phone this time. But, yeah, I get watching from your phone. Sometimes you just have to. I don't like watching Twitch from my phone, though. I don't know about you guys, but when I watch Twitch from my phone, it's very, like, like, it doesn't, it doesn't work nearly as well, it feels like. Maybe I'm, like, really wrong for that, but it just seems like it doesn't, you know? I don't know. I, I, could, I could be wrong about that, but it just really does feel like it doesn't work. Ooh, welcome to the phone crew. Yeah, because, like, I feel like my phone, when, um, even with my good phone, um, regardless of my connection, it just does not maintain it, you know? Like, it'll start l watching a stream, but I could never sit down and watch all of a stream on my phone. It would only let me watch, like, a few minutes or so. Because I know I actually try to watch uh, Burgess's uh, streams every now and then, and it never fucking works. Okay, I just need the other direction. We've almost figured out this puzzle, chat. Your phone's pretty much how you watch every stream. Yeah, no, I find that impressive. Mr. Tektite, please leave me alone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think from there we're good. Yes. All right. All right. Perfect.
now, I think what I need to do, and what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna uku. Uku! Oh goodness, you say you want to go outside? Warp out! Well, then I'll be waiting right here. Off with you! Off we go! I have to go all the way back to Barnes. Wait, can I? Yeah, I can go back to Barnes. Okay, good. Good, I can go back to Barnes. To go back to Barnes, I need to. Not Barnes and Nobles, but Barnes. Edgy, guess the song. Um. Memories by Maroon 5. Till the Day I Die by. Uh. Oh, that's rude. I don't know the I don't know the name of the band though. Is it okay if I look up the name of the band? Because I do know the song. It's rude. I immediately know that one. I actually like that song. I think that's a nice enough song. It's the classic why you gotta be so rude. I have no idea who sings it though. I'm looking it up. I've got a connection right meow. I know if my connection is bad, I have to manage my string quality lower to get it steady. I do, I do not know what you're talking about. A band called Magic. Okay, okay. Let me see. Let me see if you can tell me what. Tell me a song. Um. Let me make one to be pretty easy to tell, maybe. No, that's gonna that's immediately gonna be to obvious. I want to do a song to be s that would that people would actually be able to guess. Mm. See, no, I, c I don't have any songs I could do that. Because all these songs are, like, so obvious. Like, if I did Bad My Michael Jackson, of course you know what's going to be. That's okay. That's fine. I'll just say that I lost. I'm pretty good, though. I know I know quite a bit of music. The I will say this. If anything's, like, mainstream, I've probably heard it. But if it's anything like underground, I probably have not. I don't I don't bother to go out of my way to discover new bands. Like I don't feel like, you know. Just because like a band is underground or like, you know, not well known, I don't think that makes it like any more special per se. Now, I will say I do think any good bands deserve a uh, recognition if they are good. But I feel like some people like bands just because they're, like, you know, not as well-known. When I think, like, it's perfectly fine. Like, I think a great example would be, like, Falling in Reverse. I started listening to Falling in Reverse um, only a short while after they, like, became a band. Like, very shortly after they, they became a band. And um, as they became very mainstream... I have no issue with that. Because I've heard, like, some people, whenever they're, like, bands and stuff become mainstream, they're like, oh, it's garbage! Just because people know what the band is. Like, I cannot imagine disliking a band simply because people actually know what it is. Like, I feel like the only time I've disliked something with, like, a lot of people knowing what it is was because the people that listened to it ruined it for me. Not really because, you know, too many people know the band. It's because so many people who do listen to the band were treating me like assholes for not knowing it or something. I don't think I know that one, Snow Kitsune, if I'm honest. Read that again. Tonight, I want to give it all to you in the darkness. There's so much I want to do, and tonight, I want to lay at your feet, cause girl, I was made for you, and you were made for me. I ha yeah, no, I have no idea. 
That song is completely unknown to me. I have never heard of that before. Do you know a Kit Kat? You got me beat by far. Because that is like, I have no idea. To be fair though, I mean, I don't, that sounds like a happy love song. I don't listen to very happy love songs. Rude is technically one of the few happy love songs I listen to. Most of the love songs I listen to are extremely sad. You know what? Here, you want to listen to how happy the, uh, how happy the love songs are that I listen to? Oh, that's why I don't know what it is. It's by Kiss. I have never heard a Kiss song in my life. Yeah, no, I've never heard a single Kiss song. That's why. No offense to Kiss, by the way. I just, I've never, I've, I've never heard their music before. But, uh, yeah. I have never seen, uh, goodness, yeah, no, I've never uh, heard a Kiss song before. Um, you know covers of the song and mashups. Okay, so yeah, you, you actually don't know the song either, apparently. Um, Barnes! Ah, oh, goddammit, Barnes. Hi. Yeah, take your fucking bombs back, Barnes. You know the worst part about this, Barnes? I had to come all the way out of a dungeon just to buy, like, ten or so bombs from you. So I'm just gonna buy fifteen and call it a day. But, yeah, no. Let me, um... Yeah, I don't think I really listen to any, like, overtly happy love songs like that. You just actually happen to pick a rare one that I listen to, Snow Kitsune. Because to be honest, when I go through here, like, yeah, no, this, this isn't happy. This is not happy. The only two that I see that would be considered like, you know, positive like that would be a Hatsune Miku song in here. Rude. I, I, I'm a believer there, but there you go. I'm a believer by a Smash Mouth. That's a fantastic song. I love. I actually rather enjoy Smash Mouth songs. Want to go back to my mama? Yes. You got it, mama. Here we come. Zipping through space and time. Round three, because I'd get a thousand hugs from ten thousand lightning bugs. Oh my god, who... Who the fuck does not know Owl City? Come on, Snow Kitsune. That is obviously Fireflies by Owl City. Well, there you go, that's actually a great example of what I was talking about. Yeah, you want, you want to know a love song I listen to? You can easily... Yeah, no, the, uh... If you want a great example of, like, a love song I'd listen to, look up Silhouette by, uh, by Owl City. That'd be a, that'd be a really, that's a real, that's a good example of the average, uh, love song I listen to. What the hell is that noise? All this clanking and clashing. Yeah, no, I actively listen to Owl City. Yeah, no, if you want to keep doing, like, testing, like, song, songs, see if I know them, you absolutely go for it. I am all for it. 
Ugly bastard. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's uglier? It's a mother. Why are you so ugly? Ugh. I'm gonna have nightmares looking at this thing. Why is it? Why does it look, why is it this, like, so physicky too? <laughs> oh, I just fucking died. Uh huh. Great. Oh fuck, I am being surrounded. I am absolutely running away. Nope, 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 nope. Curse you, frog! Come on, go ahead. Are you kidding me? I didn't do anything? Why are you just immune to my arrows? If I took an arrow to the mouth, it would be extremely painful. You know what? You know what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just keep swinging, it can't fail. No? Your fucking tubby lard ass is still alive? How? What are you made out of? I really don't appreciate how this boss giggles constantly. Also, I like how fighting these enemies like you're chopping grass is the effective method. If I stand my ground, I get killed. But if I run around like I'm literally chopping grass looking for money, it actually helps. Oh, hell yeah! There we go. I didn't expect to do a finishing move on a mini-boss. Oh, gross. I don't think I want to touch that. Anyone got some sanitizer before I open this treasure chest? Oh, no. Can Uku open it for me? <laughs> yeah, no Snow Kitsune, I do not know that song. I do not I do not know that song at all. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't listen to Daft Punk. I did I do not know their music. Not that I think it's bad, once again, I just, I have no idea. Why are you being so mean? There we go. Yeah, I usually don't have too much trouble with, like, uh, the pointer or the other stuff on my Wii Remote, but, like, right now it seems to be having pretty bad trouble. Maybe the batteries are low. Yeah, the batteries are getting low, that's probably why. <laughs> That's usually why. When the batteries start getting low, your uh, Wiimote starts acting a little fucky. No, that's fine, though. I'll probably charge my batteries tonight after I get off stream. Gasp, Edgy has shattered my heart with this one. That's a great album, Edgy. Discovery. I mean, I think the only song I've ever heard by Daft Punk is that one called Get Lucky, and I don't think that's even a Daft Punk song. I think it's, like, it's somebody else and Daft Punk. I could be wrong, though. I, I genuinely don't know. 
Oh, it is a song by them? Okay, then there you go. That's the only song I know by Daft Punk. Appreciate that. So dumb. Okay. Now I can actually play the fucking game. Now that I have my hook shot. But yeah, no, I've uh, I've not really heard too much. Well, like, especially with you guys quoting love songs, I'm like I said, the likelihood of me knowing a happy love song is extremely low. Like, here, let me, let me pull up my YouTube music again. I could probably tell you most of the love songs that I have on my YouTube music and give you a really good example of, like, what I mean by, like, I literally just won't. Here, yeah, no, I'll, I'll give you a pretty good example. Let me... You fucking short king of an enemy, you dodged my attack. God damn it. There you go. Okay, here, let me actually look at my YouTube music and I'll, I'll give you an example by what I mean when I say I don't listen to uh, happy love music. So, uh, the D Doki Doki Literature Club OST, Your Reality, not a happy love song. Um, oh, this is actually a rare one for me. I don't really listen to like a lot of rappers, but that Juice World song called uh, Come and Go, I don't think that's a very happy one. Um, Silhouette um, by Al City. Um, Vanilla Twilight by Al City as well. Um, the Night We Met by Lord Huron. Hallelujah, the song from Shrek. Um, um, Who Knew by Pink. Why Don't You Love Me by Hot Shell Ray. Bullet for my Valentine, Hand of Blood. Broken by Seether. Elliot Yaman, Wait for You. That's not very happy. Lorna Shore, Pain Remains. I'm Dancing Like Flames. Evanescence, My Immortal. Um, ooh, Kinshi Onezu. Where is that? Moon, what now? Moon Gazing. Kinshi Onezu, Kinshi Onezu, Moon Gazing. Uh, the Main, Loved You a Little, featuring Taken Back Sunday. Aerosmith, Crying. The Man Who Can't Be Moved by The Script. It's a good example. I'm trying to find... I don't have that many love songs in here, if I'm honest. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, no, these are very few love songs in this part of the set. Part of it. Um... I think Nickelback saving me, but that's not very that's not a very happy song, particularly. That's not a happy song either. Bullet for my Valentine, your betrayal, that's not a very happy song either. Yeah, no. Like I said, just not let you down by three days of grace, but I don't think that's particularly what it's going for. Mm. Just the way I'm not all time low, that's kind of a love song. I think Daylight Maroon 5, that, I can't remember if that's happy or sad. I'd have to reread the lyrics. It's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, but yeah, no. Most, most are definitely, definitely not on the uh, happier spectrum side of things. And I don't know, I just don't really, 
I just don't really listen to very happy music. I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I just, I feel like a lot of happier music usually does not capture how I feel very well. And to be honest, I feel like Owl City is one of the few bands where I actually will listen to their happier music. Because like Owl City, I think, captures happiness pretty well when I listen to it. Like, I'll... Because I feel like a lot of times whenever music is very happy, it tends to come across as very shallow, and I don't really like it being super shallow like that. But, excuse me, Mr. Bat. Let me get my boots ready. Got him! Fucking got his ass. Got his ass. Okay, so he's too far away. I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, let's see. Take these fucking boots off first. First and foremost, take the fucking boots off, please. I already look like an idiot. I don't need to look more like an idiot. Um, gorillas. I've heard a few. Um, I've heard a few gorilla songs, but very few. Very, very few. Also, the fact you gave me water bombs after I needed them is kind of rude. I'm not gonna lie. I would have appreciated it a little while ago, but now you're giving me the water bombs, and I kind of, I kind of feel like you hate me. Just a little bit. Wait, what? I can climb up? Or is this... Does this let me go up, or is it just to the side? Um, Round five. Cities breaking down on a camel's back. They just have to go because they don't know whack. So while you fill the streets, pill in a sea, you won't get out the county because you're bad and free. That sounds extremely familiar. I feel like I don't know it simply because I'm not hearing it be being sang. Especially the beginning part. Freaking down a camel's back. Oh, that, that is, oh, that's the, um. Well, I, I see you guys are saying that right in the beginning. Feel good, Ink. Those are the lyrics? Really? That's actually a song I've never looked up the lyrics for, so. That would explain my confusion. Yeah, no, I've never actually heard the uh, full lyrics of that song. I'm a little kind of surprised to hear it. Honestly. Um, this is a bit older one, but round six, girl. Close I'll try to fight it. Yeah, no, that has absolutely zero, zero um, neurons activating me reading that one. I have no idea. With a lot of that music, I get completely confused. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. This is definitely the right direction. I feel like the game's being an asshole again. Like, it's only showing me part of, like, what I need to see. Or it's, like, misleading me on purpose. Which is also extremely likely as well. Yeah, it's not going to reach that. You can't reach that. That doesn't go anywhere. God damn it, Link. Damn it, Link! Figure it out. Figure it out so I don't have to. Rock with me, Michael Jackson. Oh, you know what? I know that song. I've just not heard that one in a while. Yeah, no, I have not heard that song in a long while. But I think I've told you guys before, I don't remember songs very well. I, uh, I'm really bad at remembering lyrics. Like, I think I told you guys what I had to do for the, uh, when I actually sang that song, right? Like, I actually had to literally, um, what was it? I had to pull up the lyrics on my phone. Yeah, I had to pull the lyrics up on my phone and do, like, a karaoke version and... When I did the karaoke version of the song, I had to also... Okay, Link. Chill, bro. Chill. 
um, when I did the karaoke version of the song, I had to find a karaoke version that very quietly sings the lyrics of the song alongside the music because of how bad I am at remembering lyrics. I don't know what it is, but remembering words is something I, I literally cannot do. For whatever reason, I cannot relay a message. Remembering quotes or relaying messages, I have absolutely zero memory capacity for. And like, I'm, I don't know exactly why, but that is, I, that's just my genuine honesty with you guys about it. Like, anytime I go to try to remember like words in a row, I, it just makes no, I, I can't. Like, I can never remember like direct quotes either. Like Lord of the, even Lord of the Rings. I've watched Lord of the Rings enough times to where like most people who've watched it as much as me would probably be able to quote most of the fucking entire series for you. But I can only quote a handful of scenes, and at that, I can only partially quote them. Just to add insult to injury. So. Like, I, just, I don't know what it is about words, but I cannot remember words very well. Blew myself up with it, hell yeah. The only way to go for it. Is there anything down here? Hello? Yeah, I'll just set this here, why not? Um, let me see here. Edgy, I know this is a meme, but you should know. You should know around trying hard to beat the stage all while still collecting coins, trying hard to save the girl obstacles. I battle the evil ways, I travel far and far. Sorry, but your princess isn't here, I take a rest. Pause, level up, move along, and focus at the next stage. It, that's not game over by falling in reverse, is it, Snow Kitsune? Is that game over by, uh... It's been years since I've heard that song. Hold up, hold up. Let me, like, actually read it and think about the tune in my head while reading it. Maybe it sounds a little bit more familiar. Because I feel like I should not be saying that with such a question mark, because I should be able to immediately recognize that song. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not hearing it with any of the melody, which is making it impossible for me to understand it. Because, see, if I look at it, if I actually read it at, like, the pace of, like, the song, I immediately recognize it. Because now that I know the song, it's, you know... Trying hard to beat the stage, all while I am still collecting coins. Then the fucking coin, um, sound effect plays after that. Trying hard to save the girl. Obstacles. I'm jumping hurdles. Growing up to be a big boy. And then the like. Yeah, no, I, I immediately recognize it now. Yeah, no, I... Without hearing how it was being sang, I absolutely did not remember. No. Like I said, lyrics are so... Phrases, lyrics, and quotes are some of the hardest things in the world for me to remember. The only reason I can remember that one is because you you just gave me a song sang by one of my favorite bands. Because notice when I read it, it was a big question mark because I couldn't hear the, uh, the rhythm. Come here, piranhas. Holy shit, Link! The reach on this man! So where the hell am I? Okay, I hear a weird little bug guy. Where's he at? Where's Mr. Bugs, no bunny? Okay, so I need to drop down into here is what you're telling me. <laughs> Oh 
Oh, come on. That is definitely the way to go about this. No? And I guess not. I don't know. I feel like that would be the way that you would solve this puzzle. Maybe I'm thinking of a different Zelda game. Or a different dungeon. I hear a bug, though. I hear, like, an enemy somewhere. This is so weird. You can't hookshot the treasure chest, I'm sure. Yeah, you can't. You can't... There's nothing to hookshot. It's not from here, anyways. Um... I can't bomb arrow anything, I don't think. God, this is a confusing as fuck temple. I have no idea what's going on. They really, they really tried their best to cook with this temple and get me completely lost. Yeah, no. And see, there's only one place to stand on in here. So it's not like there's multiple. There's only that spot there. This is so weird. Every time we lie awake after every hit we take. That's, all, that's three days grace. That I know immediately. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's I Hate Everything About You. But I heard that song literally sang live. I, I fucking better recognize that song. It would, it would be a crime if I didn't recognize that song. I got to see that shit sang live. If I didn't recognize it, it, it would be horrible. I, I literally, I literally remember on stage... Um, his name, uh, Matt Walst, I believe, is their, uh, second singer. I remember this man literally up on stage doing this, the fucking, ah, like he would point out, point over to the left, everyone screaming, I, point over to the right, right side, hate, I, hate, I, he had the whole fucking concert singing that song. It was probably the most out of anybody singing in the entire, entire concert. Like, everybody was hyped for that song. Everybody. And I believe the song after, Matt Walsh jumped off stage and ran all the way up one of the sides of the, um, um, what is it? All the way up one of the sides of the bleachers. Sadly, not the side I was on, but that's okay. Um, I actually plan on seeing Three Days Grace live again someday. Um, maybe not right this second, but I do plan on seeing them again live at some point. Um, simply because, for anybody who doesn't know, I mentioned it before, but maybe you didn't hear me or you don't remember. Um, Three Days Grace has both their singers now. That means they have both Matt Walsh and Adam Gontier. So, you know, hype as fuck. You know what? I don't have to listen to the bug. Why am I beating up like a water grasshopper? Why has it got to be so gross? Oh, I already know exactly what I need to do. So I was right, but only partially. I need to get this. It opens that, and then you need to just bring it on down. There we go. That's the boss key. I'm gonna save here in my room unless I try to start again. Keep the one that was away. Shoot. I, I realize that I'm the one who used it. That is Lincoln Park. I don't know what's worth fighting for, or why I have to scream. I don't know why I instigate and say what I don't mean. I know how I got... I don't know how I got this way. I know it's not all right. Breaking the habit. There we go. I had to, like, basically sing the song a little bit to myself in my head. Yeah, that's uh, that's breaking the habit. There you go. See, see if you, if you keep doing this 
these types of songs, I'll actually remember. There we go. But no chat. <laughs> Any anybody who uh anybody who has trouble with the uh, water temple in this game, you get the uh, edgy gamer patented uh you know it's it is that difficult. Your memory is correct, by the way. Don't feel bad, fam. It's all right. We're all trash at this game. We're all trash at this game together. All right. You know what's funny? I have the boss key, but I do not have the compass. That's what's impressive to me. Okay, I'm probably going to get up to use the bathroom in here just a moment, chat. So, let's see here. I feel like this is supposed to be spinning, though. Why is it not spinning yet? I feel like there's a lot more of the dungeon still needing to be accessed. I feel like I just went this way for the boss key and nothing else. There's that whole other area above me that I can't make it to, so, like, the fuck is up there, right? Like, what am I missing out on? Oh, you know what? This right here. You good, Link? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, on that note, I'm using the bathroom. <laughs> you know, I'll be right back, guys. Give me one moment. I think someone just did a really dick move. They did. Wow, that's kind of... <sighs> Whatever. I'm not even... I'll be right back. Boom. Well, I'm just going to pretend that doesn't make me mad. We're fine. We're fine. You know, context, I, I said I had to use the bathroom, and as soon as I said that, somebody went to go take a shower af after hearing me say that, but we're just going to ignore that. <sighs> Whatever. Ignore the rudeness of people. I have I have the one, I have you wonderful viewers hanging out with me, so the rudeness of others is not going to bother me one bit. <laughs> Instead, I am simply going to have a... I'm going to completely doubt any capability Link has of landing any of his jumps for now on, because what the fuck, Link? You're literally supposed to be above. Yeah? All right. There we go. That worked. <laughs> it's weird. It's like it's trying to get me killed or something. This game is out to get me. There we go. All right. I woke up at 7. I waited till 11 just to figure out that we'll call. I think got a lot of friends, but I'm going to hear from them at all. Once another night all alone when you're spending every day on your own. Here we go. That is uh, I'm Just a Kid by Simple Plan. See, now now you're, you're, you're asking questions about... Uh, Songs I will recognize. <laughs> now you're asking the important questions. Now I actually know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that one I can honestly kind of hear in my head when you type it out. I can literally hear the fucking song. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Is this, is this a trick, Snow Kitsune? Are you trying to get me to sing along to these songs just so I can remember what they are? I told you I don't want to sing on stream. I get embarrassed. <laughs> Kit Cop got it for me? Oh, that's okay. There we go. Absolutely shredded. You know... 
I like how the water roaches aren't even difficult. They're just a question. Do you have enough bombs? That's it. That's literally all it is. It's just a question if I have enough bombs. And nothing, nothing further. No further dialogue needed. Just, do you have enough bombs? If so, proceed. That's what, that's what some of this dungeon seems to be. Round 11, our name is... She doesn't know who I am. Doesn't give a damn about me. The fuck did you just kill? It sounded like Donald Duck. <laughs> I'm just murdering everyone's favorite Disney character. Don't worry about it. But yeah, that would have been the uh, weird water, the water crickets. Teenage dirtbag. Oh, see, that's a song I actually. That is not a song I've heard too much. I do know the song, but what you heard me kill Kit Kat was these. I'm killing these little water crickets. They're done for! There we go. What do I... Oh, okay, there we go. Perfect, that's what I need to do. Alright. Ah, oh, lovey. L lovey. Lovey dovey, I'm drowning myself. Amazing. Amazing. Like I go to say one thing, I end up saying the other. I might have to get off stream a little bit earlier tonight with me fucking stumbling over my words. Which is fine, because I'm trying to get more posts up right now anyways. I've been really behind on my posts. Ah, yes. If I don't drown myself, I get rammed by the evil hamster. I'll say, please don't ram me from behind while I'm trying to use my claw shot. Okay, thank you. Wait. <laughs> Damn it. Why do you look so ugly? Why do you look like that? Kit Kat is over here kicking my ass. You know what, Kit Kat? That's okay. I will take second place, because you know what? Second place is just the first loser. And, I, and that makes me first. There we go. Honestly, spin attacks are just the best. Too bad I don't have Mortal Draw. I would love to have Mortal Draw. This is going to be money, isn't it? That was not money. <laughs> it was, in fact, not money. It was more bombs. Exactly what Edgy Gamer needed. There we go. Oh my goodness! You know, it's actually pretty useful. I won't even be like an idiot about it. Like, that is actually a pretty useful item. All things considered, it could have been a lot of things. Compass is actually a pretty good one. I'm starting to run out of songs, but round 12, your lipstick stains on the front of front lobe of my left side brains. Oh, that's a uh, Smash Mouth, and that's All Star. I knew that one immediately. That's one of my favorite songs. Wait, no, maybe. Wait. Why did I think All Star? I, I watched Shrek the other day and it's invaded my brain. What am I talking about? It's not that at all. I don't know the name of the song, but it's not that. It's it's a love song that was really popular when I was a kid. Yeah, Kit Kat. Kit Kat, you're right. It's uh, it's I'm Yours, or whatever it's called. Yeah, I don't know the name of the song. I knew it. I knew it. Why the fuck? I say all stars. Chat, I, I must be tired. That's the only the only explanation I could give. I have to be. Mr. Piranha, please get off of me. No freeloaders! Thank you. You owe me twenty dollars for that ride, sir. You know what, bitch? You wanna fight me? Fight me. Bring it down here. God damn it. But yeah, no, that is actually a song I do recognize. I just, for some reason, told you the wrong one. 
for one reason or another. I'm not sure what reason there was, but there was a reason. Oh, that's to just stop me. I'm, yeah, okay. cool. Um, I'm actually gonna drink my potion. <laughs> Did all star and it rocked my, rocked my shit. I was second guessing my life for a minute. Felt like whiplash. Right. I don't know. I literally have no idea, no fucking clue, why in the world I said all star. I just did. Like, I, I don't... It's like, I heard the song I'm Yours. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. I know the song. I've heard it plenty of times. I just literally, for some fucking reason, said All-Star. I have... I just don't know why I said All-Star. That just... It's not All-Star at all. <laughs> no problem, Edo Noise Gaming. You have a wonderful night, man. Have a wonderful night. Oh boy. Yeah, no, I'm. You know what? Let me get more of my coffee. Apparently, I need some more. Going off my fucking answers. Link, you look so cute with that mask on. That little Zora emblem. I like how it's the emblem from uh, Ocarina of Time. But you know, I can kind of see why people would say this game kind of copies Ocarina of Time. But like, not particularly. Because the thing is, is like, if this game doesn't have the child air, the child version, it has, you know, only the adult stuff. There's, there's no um, kid link or anything. It's all adult link. Which I think that already adds a lot to it, you know? There's no, like, wasted time in, like, the, uh, the kid section of the game. You just jump right into the old adult link. There we go. God, he sounds like a fucking Mario enemy. <laughs> nice. Oh, treasure chest, nice. My last one uh, may be a stretch, but here you go, round 13. If it's a seven hour, if it's a seven hour flight for a 45 minute drive, in my imagination, your weight line on your side with your hands between your, oh, wait a sec, when you look at me like that, my, my hands are, did last time I checked. I have no idea that, I mean, maybe I know the song, but I do not recognize that one at all without context. I, I would require context for that one to make sense. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely a requires context one for me. I'm checking something. It was relative to the playthrough. I want to make sure I don't fuck something up. I see what I'm messing up now. We're good. We're good. Edgy Gamer's messing something up, and uh, now that I know that, I'm a little bit less concerned. Okay, cool. cool. I have a five by the Arctic Monkeys. Was that stretching too far? Yeah, no, I have. I had no idea about that, but that's okay. Fine. Did 
not mean to do that. Why are you cutscene locking me like this? Not the double do 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 do. That's why I skip over the first sentence of the lyric because it says. Oh, it's it says the beginning of the. Uh, it says the name of the song in the beginning. That's kind of funny. Okay, Mr. Tech Tyke, please leave me alone. That actually was long enough? God damn, okay. I feel like I wouldn't be. Uh, piece of heart? Maybe? Hey, let's go. So I feel like... Damn it. I need to go over there, don't I? That sucks. That sucks ass. Fuck you, game. Whoops. How many heart? <laughs> how many piece, pieces of heart are in this dungeon? Let me look up Twilight Princess uh, in this dungeon. Because already, I've already beaten this game, so I know what's in the dungeon. I know what the boss looks like and everything. I even I even know the beginning part. Actually, hold up. I think the bathroom's open. I'll be right back, chat. I really got to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. 
700,000 coins as the game fee? Jesus Christ. Um... I think... I have a bag of Takis in there. Will that... Is that enough? Will that cover the cost? Will that... Will that be even remotely close enough to the, uh... To the cost of what we're, go we're going for? I hope so. He just phase first dived into that too. Amazing. Hey, that's the one I... Oh, I need to go this way. Perfect! We take head pads. Then I give you 700,000 virtual head pads, Snow Kitsune. <laughs> That is how I choose to pick. Why is... I'll check what that is on the way back. Right, now I'm curious. Hey, welcome to more fast sled. How you doing, man? I've seen you in a while. Hello, hello. There we go. That's all I was waiting to get to was that. But I think there's a heart piece in here. This is the other treasure chest I was looking for. Excuse me. Damn it! God damn it! I got my battle boots on! Something, there's something very beautiful about my uh, horrible jumping attacks in these boots. <laughs> something really just un unreasonably fantastic. Also, all the tech, all the tech tights over here. Later, I'm gone. This is a solo false prophecy on a whim. Hands are all still shaking. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Is that the one with the big, um, is that the one that involves the nine? With the big taken captain as the final boss? Yeah, I think, yeah, prophecy is the one I've done, I believe. play Gambit all dungeon with the Kel Echo. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. You, it's the one with the light and the dark modes, right? The light, the light and dark mechanic is dog shit. I mean, I don't mind it, but I can understand that everyone's gonna like it. What, uh, what do you dislike about the light and dark mechanic, one fast sled? Is there, like, a specific thing about it you dislike? Because I actually thought it was pretty cool that you had to, like, you know, stand in the light or stand in the dark to kind of, you know, do certain things. I mean, I also don't think it's, like, the most uh, accurate most of the time, but I do think it's pretty cool. So how the hell do I get out of this predicament? What did I get myself stuck into now? I probably fucked myself again. Wait, wait! Oh. What do you know? That's how you fix this. Good. I was really worried I screwed myself from getting, getting stuck outside the boss room after just Finishing the puzzle of the boss. Good. Good. Now we can fight the boss. After I figure out how to get to him. It may take a moment. Don't worry about it. Oh, um, when it wants more, the alignment, the alignment is based on the room lighting, which is incorrect. Inherently the problem. It's inconsistent the visual effects on the screen to display your alignment. You can just up and decide to leave. Okay, then yeah, if that's what you're talking about, then I can understand the frustration. That's definitely one of those things. It's kind of like Wii, Wii motion controls. For like, it'll work for some people. It'll not work for others. It just kind of depends on the situation at hand. So that I completely understand. Are you fucking 
fucking mine. Thank you. Hopefully I don't die to the boss, right? I honestly might. We'll see. Be prepared to be disappointed. There we go. Okay, now I actually should be able to beat the boss. <laughs> you know what? I'm gone. Falling at light speed with these iron boots on. Who's ready to fight the fish? I actually think it's... I can't remember. It's like a... Oh no, not the tentacle monster! Jesus, that was a loud thud. But, see, this is very reminiscent of uh, Ocarina of Time, I won't lie. But with a huge twist. There's multiple tentacles. We've all seen this boss before. <laughs> or have we? Not more feel. Great. That is not at all what I was expecting. I was maybe expecting you to do something a little different. No, I know what to do, Midna. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're out here freaking out. Bro, I know what I'm doing. going no I have not that thing is terrifying is it terrifying Kit Kat well it's already dead so don't worry about it I lied I lied to you it's very much alive and now it's swimming oh boy so whatever nightmares you were having, they just got worse. Catch up to him! I'm trying, Midna, you're not helping. There we go! Hold on! Take him out! You will not be swimming away from me! Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Imagine being thrown off so aggressively. No, you can't swim away from me. You're not Mulgara. Dude is tearing his own boss from apart. Sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to chill the fuck out. No? Okay, well, let me look onto that. That's fine. We'll catch him. No, 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 don't eat me, don't eat me, don't eat me. <sighs> yes. Yes! You know, it, we're so lucky it has a single fucking weak spot on the outside of its body. Because if it did not, I don't think we'd be killing this thing at all. Why would you lie to me like that? <laughs> Honestly, no, they get better. Just an oversized river prowler from Subnautica now. I don't know, this is, this is pretty... This is actually pretty horrifying. Make it swallow bombs. That is an option we could go with. Or I could go with this epic finisher. <laughs> you know, this would be way more of an epic fight if I did not already know how to kill it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like if there was a little bit more of a back and forth. Oh, that's a headache. Oh my God. Like the worst headache I've ever seen. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, by far not my favorite boss in the game, but he's still pretty cool. To be honest, Zelda does not have a good record with water bosses. Water bosses are rarely that fun or interesting. 
You are correct about that. There are a lot of bomb weak enemies. <gasps> oh. I asked for Zelda and I got Halo. There it is. The last fused shadow. I'll just take that, thanks. But don't resent me for all I've put you through. I need this thing. Besides, we have to do something about Zant, the one who thinks he's the king of the shadows. His power is a false one. I'll prove it using these. So, I've done everything I needed to. I'm sorry for dragging you all over the place with me. Hey, welcome in, Peaches Uwo. How are you doing? First time chatter, I see. I'm so sorry you came in after we killed the boss, but glad to have you here nonetheless. <laughs> um, But what is it? I don't particularly... See, the problem is... Is I enjoy the Dark Souls style of boss fights, but I also enjoy the puzzle style boss fights as well. I feel like it's good to have like a mixture of mechanic based boss fights and um, actual straight up just fights. Um, like, uh, but the problem is though, is there's some Zelda games where I feel like the straight up fights don't work nearly as well. Like, what is it? The, the first boss fight inside of Majora's Mask. I remember always getting frustrated with that one. At least that's what I remember. I could be wrong, though. It could be, like, really simple, and I'm just fucking bad. Puzzle bosses are underrated. They are. They are. And I think Zelda usually does a pretty good job for puzzle bosses. I really do think so. Um, Like, what is it? I enjoy... I want to save. Um, I think I think mechanic and um, gimmick style boss fights can be great. Um, I'm actually one of the few people who actually really likes... What is it? I actually... So... Uh, a lot of people who watch me play Dark Souls. Um, the Demon Souls Storm uh, Storm Ruler, or Storm King, and the, um... Oh, hold up. <laughs> no! He's tall! He's making scary noises. <laughs> Get him! Zan does not give... He does not care. Or was it emanating energy? All right. And we already lost. Wow. The fact that he does it so effortlessly is the craziest part. Jor's Mask is such a clusterfuck regardless. You're straight puzzles? I thought you were gay puzzles, Kit Kat. Oh no, poor Midna. Midna needs a coffee. Look at her. Zant! Do you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? Hmm. You are a foolish traitor, Midna. Why do you defy your king? <laughs> My king? You, you who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe? You must be joking. How dare you? Are you implying that my power is our old magic? Now that is a joke. <laughs> this power is granted to me by my god. It is the magic of the King of Twilight, and you will respect it. Oh no, I can't do anything. I've been turned into a doggo. Well, there's that. That looks like the worst headache I've had in ages. The migraine I'm going to be feeling is unbelievable. <laughs> My Midna, did you forget? That beast is one of the light dwellers who oppressed our people. No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we can make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm, and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light. And that, Midna, is why. Ugh. I need you. 
<laughs> He's so saliva-y! <laughs> Not just for me, but for all of our people. Lend me your power. That's so gross, bro. You, you expect someone to believe you when your mouth looks like that? Yo, you need a tech tac or something. So be it. I will return you to the light world you covet. Strange danger. Right. Give me my free feet, bro. Please. Oh, and the trauma. Well. Ah, ear piercing scream. The happy music while it's fucking murdering her is pretty screwed, I'm not gonna lie. Well, that was great. Fantastic. You know, I really do love Zant in this game. I know I'm a big Gita Him fan, and I always talk about how good Gita Him is, but I, I do not want anybody to ever under I don't want to ever undersell Zant. I think Zant is a fantastic villain. Jesus. That is... Ooh, even without me playing this game, like, episode after episode, that was not easy to look at. Oh my god. Link, hero chosen by the goddess. Go, the princess locked away in the castle. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. Okay, okay. And the best song in the game plays. I hate that it's over such a sad scene, but this is the best theme in the entire game. Link, hurry, hurry to Zelda. God, you know it's bad when she's literally turned into bleached gray and blue. Yeah, Link, Link turned into a dog and Midna's basically sun bleached four times over. That's like me when I go out in the sunlight for more than 30 minutes. That's okay, Kitsune. Welcome back. Okay, now I'm gonna catch up with chat. Oh, God's no light. I loved Majora's Mask. Oh, yeah, Majora's Mask is amazing. Um, I've loved pretty much every Zelda I've played. The only Zelda I've played that I didn't outright love was probably Zelda 2. I think everything but Zelda 2 I have loved for one reason or another. You're allergic to sunlight, too? I'm not allergic to sunlight, but... I am pasty as a motherfucker. Like, it's very... I have very... Very weak skin. <laughs> what is it, cat? Tell me. I just hate the rain. I can't get comfortable whether I sit or stand. Maybe my sixth sense is trying to tell me something. How about you get out of the rain? What? I mean, the sun does burn a little bit when I go outside, but I'm not full-on allergic to it or anything. Gay for puzzles? Fuck that shit. Aw, uh, Link, Link is now a good boy. Um, does Zant not understand it? I don't- I think the whole point of Zant here, um, One Fast Sled, is that he's being manipulated by Zant. He's being manipulated by Zant. He, Zant is being manipulated by Ganon. So if I can't go that way, what way can I go? Wait! The, uh, the, the, uh, the bar. The bar, it's, hold up. The bar, the bar has a, what is it, cats? I haven't seen your face around here before. If you want to know about this town, then you should ask Louise Telma's cat. You look so stern with that look on your face, so you'll frighten the humans. It's really coming down at this rate. Today's meeting will be canceled. The meeting? What are you meeting about? I, why am I even asking? I don't know what the cats are talking about. But yeah, no, um, Zant is getting absolutely used by a Ganon. That was an impressive scream, my goodness. Um, yeah, Dark Axe to being forced to light definitely is a little much. Um, kind of painful. Zant is like the nice guy 
who the hot goth girl wouldn't get with, so he wants revenge. <laughs> I mean, that's probably one way to look at it. That's one way to look at it. I love getting just straight kicked out of the bar. Of course, of course. I think you have to get kicked out of the bar, though. You there. Your link correct? I'm so sorry, chat. You can smell me, can't you? Mm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm trying to make sure I don't over... I'm Louise. Do you remember meeting me in this shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh? Another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. Oh, pl please. Princess Zelda. Where the fuck up my favorite character is dying! Addressed to the kitty. This way. It's a sassy cat. They're going bare... Oh, is uh, Midna your favorite Zelda character, Peaches? Here, get... Get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Ye. Well, I suppose all it's left to do is make sure that the humans don't notice you. Well, I do have to ask, what are some of your other favorite uh, Zelda characters, Peaches? Or, elaborate, why is, uh, why is Midna your favorite Zelda character? I mean, I, there's a lot of reasons to have uh, Midna as your favorite Zelda character. I think she's... Uh, in my opinion, she's one of the, she is either the best or one of the best Zelda companions. I like Fee, but Midna is far and above the best one in my opinion. The only one that I think that could come close is maybe the uh, Zelda from Spirit Tracks. Wait, hold up. God damn it. The Elder told me to escort Telma, but the city air does not suit my skin. Dude is, you know what? Fair. I feel the same way when I walk outside and it's hot and moist outside. I do way better when it's cold and dry. How it's come to this? How did her voice sound? How's it come to this, huh? Monsters walking into the streets of town. What in the world are those soldiers, soldiers of Hyrule doing? The Gorons are so much more reliable than they are. It's not even funny. Oh no. Don't knock any pots down. Don't, don't knock any pots down. I heard that there's an acquaintance that Telma's defeated the beast that had been attacking Taurus on the bridge. His name was Link. It sounds as though he brought Telma and our young ward to Concrico Village. And here I was thinking Hyrule was empty of men of valor. Oh no, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. No, my understanding is that he's from the small neighboring province of Ordo Ordona. This may sound horribly elitist, but people who do not know the city simply do not know fear. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds elitist. That sounds like a compliment. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, we're in Mr. Yeah, okay. This is our first time seeing a Poe. Just the... You rip someone's fucking soul out. Uh oh, th th thanks for beating the ghost. Can I call you doggy? I'm Joe. What would his voice sound like? He sounds kind of pained, but. I'm a Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat Gingle is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. But yeah, no, Zelda from Spirit Tracks is a very top-tier one for me as well. I remember her being really good. 
Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? I sure do. I like her personality for one, but also the themes regarding her magic and how she's actually really loving her responsible for her people. Okay, and there's rats. I didn't realize we fell down into New York. Nice. Yep. Um... When I was little, I wished I could go through the mirror with her. Kind of guide of my philosophies growing up. My other favorite Zelda character is the Skull Kid from Dora's Mask. The Zelda from Spirit Track is also good, too. Um, looks up him in that Ikea wolf on a tightrope you hung up. Pretty nice furniture. Okay, Mr. Spider, I don't care. I still love how he all... What is it? Um... I still love how you're like, uh, what is it? Like the spirit of the hero or whatever. He literally tells you like, oh yeah, just, you know, use the, um, use your sword technique in wolf form. It's exact, or no, so Midna said use your sword technique in wolf form. It's exactly the same. And then you can't do any of the special techniques in wolf form at all. Like, come on now. Why are you lying to me? Wait, why is there a fairy there? Oh, it's because I'm playing on the Wii. It's wherever I'm. It's it's wherever my Wii mode's pointing. That's why. Yeah, I've actually never played the GameCube version of this game, if you'd believe it. Am I moving slower because I'm in battle? I feel like that's the reason. Okay, fine. There. There we go, thank god. Move with a little bit of haste now. Um, which, uh, which version of this game did you play, Peaches? Did you play the GameCube version? Because I've only ever played the, uh, the Wii version. I've never played the Wii U nor the, uh, GameCube. But no, I can understand it. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think those are extremely valid reasons to like, uh, Midna. I mean, I know me for, uh, Genuinely, I've always uh, enjoyed dark magic users in most video games I played. Um, I know that. Let me think here. I really liked Midna. Um, I also really liked. I'm trying to think. Um, well, here, this is a very easy one for me to do, but like, I always thought the dark magic of pretty much any video game, whether it be necromancy or just base dark magic, was always like the most interesting. Um, just when it came to in general stuff. Like, I know, uh, but that's like, I remember when I was finally, like, playing, like, Dark Souls and stuff, and they actually let you use dark magic, I fell in love with it. And I remember when I first played Dark Souls 2, that was one of my favorite things about it, because it kind of went along with the themes of the unorthodox and the intriguing. And so, like, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2 was, like, beautiful to me. When I finally got to play a video game to let me use dark magic consistently, you're going to love Wizards and Dark Baldur's Gate 3 then. Yeah, like I said, I'll at some point I'll play Baldur's Gate 3. I'll have to let me see if uh, is Baldur's Gate 3 on sale for uh, Black Friday. That's been out for a while, so I don't know if it is or not. I'd have to check on my Xbox. But yeah, no, in uh, that was one of my favorite things because every time I saw Dark, yes. Well, maybe I'll have to spend some of my stream money to buy it then. Maybe I'll do that tonight after I get off stream. But yeah, no, genuinely, after, uh, I remember when I play, when I'd play video games and they talked about dark magic. They talked about the comfort of the dark and they talked about, you know, the unorthodox, like, style that came with everything and just this, the overall thought process of dark magic when it came to a lot of things was just my favorite. I felt like a lot of things was just, like, overly, like, stupid. Like, usually, whenever you saw magic users inside of, uh, up. I'm trying my best not to fall off right now. Um, but yeah, no. I'm trying to think of like what other games I played that had dark magic. I know this game and Dark Souls 2 and let me think here. What was another one? What's another game for my child? Oh shit! My um um uh, uh what is it? Yeah, my uh fuck. God damn it. Um 
My magic clash of heroes. There we go. Um, I've not I've not played it in a really long time, but I'm sure you guys may or may not remember me playing it. If anybody remembers me playing the uh, the video game that had a lot of uh, it was like bejeweled, but it was like you know managing armies. As I said plenty of times, controlling the demons and um, controlling the undead were by far the most intriguing to me, especially the undead, because I always found the uh, the necromancers to be incredibly interesting. I don't think I have a big enough wall to hold this. I don't. Amazing. Zelda! I need you to save her, please! But yeah, no. I just, I always liked, like, dark magic and stuff as well. Because it just seemed to usually go... They usually had to ha They usually had very interesting ways to go about everything, and I always loved the creativity of it. Like, uh, what was it? It's one thing that I really enjoy inside of Dark Souls uh, 2. Um, usually with, um, like, buffs and debuffs and stuff. Oh, yeah, and usually dark magic involves, um, crippling or, um, enhancing stuff. Usually crippling. But that's something I've always enjoyed. I always found the idea of debuffing your opponent to be the best form of combat. Therefore, debuffs, which involves usually dark magic, and I've always enjoyed dark magic, poison, and debuffs. And those usually kind of all go hand in hand. Dark magic usually involves curses, debuffs, things of the sort. Um, and that kind of, you know, that kind of went along with me when it came to Pokemon, Dark Souls, Zelda, what have you. Zelda, save Midna, please! Do something, woman! Faster! Don't play a harp, save her life. Please. Please tell me. How do we break the curse on this one? This is the one. You need him to save your world. That's why. Princess, please. You must help Link. Finds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the curtain of twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance, just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Pharaoh. There, you'll find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by the wisdom the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil. That blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Link, hero sent by the goddesses. Like you, I've been granted special powers by the goddesses. Fine, Link. You can you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell them where to find the Mirror of Twilight? Edna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Midna. I pass it to you. What, what does she give Midna? I can remember how she got saved, so I have no idea what's going on. Stop her!
Oh boy. You know, we go back. Link, back to Ferrum Woods. <laughs> was the backflip necessary? <laughs> and then the slow. Okay, I'll leave the slow walk. Zelda, I've taken away all you had to give, though I did not want it. Life for a life, fair trade. I guess so. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen any of this, so it, it's definitely catching me off guard. The style is always necessary. That is true. Style points do exist, and they are always required. I, I, I agree. I agree. Well, fuck me. All right. Well, there's that. <laughs> God damn it. I knew I hated geometry class, and it came back to haunt me. I'm too gay to math. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how it correlates, but absolutely. Of course. Ah, yes, Hyrule Field. Okay, let me get in with chat. Um, but no, I totally get that. Um, I'm not allergic to the sun or anything severe, but I do, um, I have, I do have fairly sensitive skin and sensitive eyes. So when I uh, when I go outside, I tend to do, I tend to get blinded, and it tends to hurt my eyes pretty bad. Um, technically, I have hazel eyes, so they are gray green. They have pretty low pigmentation, so technically, anytime I'm outside, especially living in Florida, I'm supposed to wear I should be wearing shades every single time I go outside. Um, then, um, go going off my heritage and lifestyle, I probably should not be going outside unless I live in fucking Scotland or, you know, Finland or something because, uh, I have pretty, pretty bad, um, um, skin for stuff like Florida. Like, when I walk out here, it, it does, it does sizzle a little bit. You have pure gray? Would you happen to be, uh, albino peaches, Uwo? Finland, you say? I believe so. Fin I, I, I mean, unless I'm wrong, I could be wrong. I do believe Finland and Sweden and all of them are pretty far north. So, I've heard that when you're, I, I've heard that when you're in Finland and Scotland and Sweden, etc. Um, you can, uh, what is it? You can actually be outside without sunscreen because it's not, um, what is? It? Nice shot. Nice shot, asshole. Um. You can actually be outside without needing nearly as much sunscreen. I could be wrong, though. That's what I've been told. Obviously, I've never been there. That is just the knowledge that I have been given. And yeah, maybe Sweden to an extent, not Finland. I'd have to see. Let me look up on a map. Is Finland, like, further south than I, than I realize? Let me look. Uh, map of Europe. Images. Actually, here, let me just go to maps. There we go. But Sweden and Finland are right next to each other. I don't... Okay. I, mean, I guess so. I have no idea. Yeah, so I was right. I, that's that's what... Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Cool. So I didn't, I didn't forget what those countries were called. I always forget where Denmark is, though. Can anyone blame me? Snow blindness is a thing, and it's fucking common. That's terrible. Especially for eyesight. Sweden doesn't see near the amount of snow Finland does. Denmark is above Germany. Yeah, I won't lie. I am still a dumb American, so there are a lot of things I don't... Just, I just generally don't remember. Um, I thought al um, albinism had pink eyes, but I'm extremely pale. Um, I don't know if you need to have pink eyes to be albino. Uh, I, I was... All, all I know is that um, al being albino, pretty much you just have really low pigmentation across the board. So, like, I don't know if you need to have pink or red eyes. 
at least as a human. I know that a lot of like a lot of animals in general can have red will have red eyes or so whenever they're um, albino, but I know that um, well I, I just asked because you said you had really low pigmentation in your eyes and you said you're you that you were allergic to the sunlight, so I thought I'd uh I thought I'd ask. That's just what seemed to make the most sense to me. This should just give us the other side of the uh, tunnel here. Here's multicolor, so you don't think so? Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I, um... What is it? But no, that's, that's... I get it. I can, I can relate to some degree. I can relate to it to some degree. Like I said, I'm not allergic to sunlight or anything severe. Um, I just, I burn up very quickly. It's, uh, you ever, you ever heard people make joke? ever heard people make jokes about red-headed ki red kids, like, burning up in the sunlight in ten minutes? You know, that type of shit? Technically, I do have, so, I have the genes for red hair, but I also have the genes for blonde hair, and the blonde, uh, trumps the red, uh, trumps the red. So, I technically probably should have red hair, but, um, I, uh, actually, what is it, I only have, I have red hair, or sorry, let me phrase this better. I should have red hair, but the only place I have red hair is all of my beard hair. All of my beard hair is, um, a ton- is purely red. It looks brown and black when it's short, but as soon as it gains length and light can get to it, it turns straight red. From here all the way across, it's all red. I- because there's been- a, there's been moments where I've not been able to shave, and it was- it was definitely red. Um, and it looked horrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no hate to like red hair, of course, but it just, I did not like it on me. Um, and then my natural hair is like a, uh, is a dirty blonde. So. And dirty blonde overpowers the red that would be there. So. I'll buy another true Chiha clan with the Sharingan. Nice. Let me mix a brown blonde and red. Oh yeah. So. But that's what that's what I know I usually uh, deal with. But I don't have any severity or anything. Um, I also know that for me, I'm usually so like for me right now, it's four, it's 3:27 a.m. I don't regularly go to sleep until at least like 4 a.m. Um, it's difficult for me to go to sleep before 4 a.m. I can, but it is difficult. Oh God. Why, did it, why is there nightmare fuel in every part of this game? What in the Majora's Mask is going on? I saved you, monkey. I got you. Frieza can't hurt you anymore. Did, did you save me? Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of that cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods, anyway? I don't know. But we'll soon find out. Um, I think I have a fairy still. I do. Cool, so. You know what, here. Even though I watch after this shop every day, he never shows any appreciation. I think my master probably didn't get much praise growing up. <laughs> Bro is an armchair psychologist to his fucking owner right now. That's crazy. Imagine. I love that. So there's another section of forest beyond this cliff. All right, Link, let's go. Onward, Minda. Into the forest. It just looks like we shouldn't even be able to go over here. I love that we just can. Um, those dolls are wonderful. Don't insult them. I mean... <laughs> You're right, just because they give me nightmares doesn't mean they'll give everybody nightmares. You, that is correct. Holy double stacked sandwich, Batman! Double stacked sandwich? 
I actually don't, I don't think I've ever watched anything that had Batman. I think I told you guys before, I never really watched anything that was DC. The closest thing I watched that had DC was Teen Titans. Not that I think DC is bad, of course. A wooga. Up, down, up, down, middle, up. Up, down, I missed it. Yeah, I'm like, this is this is a great example of I mean, my like, shitty memory for stuff. Yeah, no. This is this. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody in chat, it looks terrible when I say I can't remember quotes, song lyrics. This is what I mean. I can do all types of shit. Memorizing a pattern? I cannot do that for the life of me. I better have that shit written down on a paper and staring at it while I do it. So, hold up. Up, down, up, down. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Holy, I was referring to the uh, Adam West Batman's version of Robin where he would always say holy and then some odd sentence as his catchphrase. See, that's a beautiful catchphrase though. Okay, so I might need to get tested looking this up. Uh, looking what up, Peaches? Oh, the al albino? I mean, like I said, it could be. If it's like a severity. But I know human humans can be allergic to anything. Humans can be I've heard humans can be allergic to grass, so I'm sure you can be allergic to sunlight too. The teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. But I don't have hands! I've got paws! But also, Peaches, honestly, with a lot of stuff, you could, you could have, um, it could be, like, I know there's, like, so different severities to a lot of things, so. So, Baldur's Gate 3 is on sale, Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough win. Um, I think that's something that a lot of you guys said you'd be excited about. Just, I, I wish I could have a harp and play along, but, like. I don't even want to commentate. It's so serene. You know what, chat? Here. I'm going to go put my coffee up, and you guys are just going to jam to this music for a minute. You're welcome. music so much my childhood robin phrase number three holy birthday cake batman holy runaway train batman holy stolen sausages batman it is literally i did that shit off a of ear that's crazy Dude, I've played too much Zelda. I did that off of principle. I didn't even need to see it. See, that's the thing. I may not be able to remember it, or remember a pattern, but my timing and my rhythm were on 
point! God damn. God damn. See, that's why I play my Hatsune Miku Rhythm game chat. It's magical. Oh no. They got the JoJo posing puppets. Or the, is it a stand user? The stand user could be anybody. The stand user. Um, my child Robin fa uh, phrase number three. Holy birthday cake, Batman. I like that little bean, ooh woo. <laughs> they are pretty adorable. Skull Kid is honestly such a sad character. I, if I remember correctly, uh, at least in Ocarina of Time, Skull Kids were just lo uh, children that got lost in the forest. And they like turned into wooded creatures, basically. That's, at least that's what I remember from uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Which is a horrifying thought. I love you can hear his, uh... Hit him! Why would you do that? A paradise, honestly. Yeah, I feel like a forest would be really nice. I mean, the lighting like this is fucking whimsical. I definitely enjoy it. I like I like heavy heavy uh heavy forested areas. I know the um I think it's nice. I don't do that well around um what is it? When like actual like thick forested areas though because I've been out in like thick forested areas at nighttime and I get a little stressful. Oh my god. But I think that's probably just my anxiety really. How did you go? Yeah, I always get war I always get stressed. So I'm gonna um, you know, run into a spider web, or I'm gonna get attacked by a wolf or a coyote or something. But what you know, when you're uh, what is it? When you're <laughs> 114 pounds and uh, you know, five foot seven, you're you're probably probably scared of a lot of things. But yeah, no, I've, I've lived in the city most of my life, so I don't mind being in the city, but I mean, I don't mind being, like, near the trees and stuff, but I definitely don't do that best when I'm actually out in the middle of, like, nowhere. I think I told you guys before, my grandparents live, like, in the middle of nowhere, and fuck, dude, it is... It, I would never be able to live out there. Not even... Not for any, like, long period of time. I could... I can visit. It's always lovely to visit. But I could never live out there. Mushroom circles? That sounds pretty cool. You must, uh... I'll say, yeah, you must have grown up on a very, like... Amazing. My nose is irritating me right now, so it's distracting the fuck out of me. So, yeah, he must be over here. Okay, well, you missed. Oh, I'm in the Lost Woods. I need to keep searching for him. God, my nose. Hold up. Please pause. Dude, there's not even hair on my face. What are you irritated about? How is... For the millionth time, how is my nose this big and this terrible at working? Is it something under my nose? Is there a hair in my face? No. What is... Whatever. I don't care. <sighs> if, I, if it gets... If it bothers me again, I'll go flush my face as I do all the... As I do all the time. It's okay. I've heard him! Just leave a saucer of milk out, uwu. A saucer of milk? I fucking love milk. Milk is so good. You were cooked! Well, I missed. That's okay. Robin Phase 48, Holy Tin Toes Batman. Oh god. 
Only ten toes. Isn't that a Borderlands boss? I think that's three toes is what I'm... No, nine toes is what I'm thinking of. Nine toes is a Borderlands boss. Did he run backwards? I feel like he did. And either way, I can only get so lost after all, so who cares? I'll run in circles. Ah, he's up there. Okay, we go around. Oh, it's certainly this. You'll never catch me alive! No! God damn it, Wolf Link, what are you doing? Okay, we're fine. I once got lost in a forest reserve. <laughs> Fucking really, Peaches? You were a brave soul for sure. How many Zelda um how many of the Zelda games have you played, Peaches? You said you love this game. What other Zelda games have you played? <laughs> Just need 2010 gloves and I'm fully a Tinny cap? Oh what? So confused, one fast level, what does that mean? Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, that one DS sequel to Wind Waker, Spirit Tracks. Ah, oh, so you did Phantom, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Nice. Oh, and Master Quest. Nice, nice. Okay, so you played the, uh, what is it, the, uh, not the, not the retro era of Zelda, but the kind of like, cla I would say classic. You played the, uh, the, the classic 3D Zelda. I got you, I got you. The Wind Waker, the Ocarina of Time, all of those. Oh yeah. I have to, oh, I have to wait till he plays a song. There we go, nice. I could not get into Breath of the Wild. Really? I mean, granted, I don't really like Breath of the Wild nearly as much as these games either. I do think Twilight Princess is my favorite Zelda game. By quite a large margin. Um, what, uh, what kept you from getting into uh, Breath of the Wild? Vulnerability and lack of temples is what killed me. I will say the lack of temples and music definitely killed it for me. Yeah, no, the, uh... I, I personally could not stand the, uh, the lack of temples and music. Like, I'll say music is so ingrained into Zelda. Like, that's like... So I watch JoJo's. It's like if you were watching JoJo's and they didn't have a bunch of crazy-ass music playing. <laughs> Bye. Like, could you imagine if Jotaro fucking, like, looked away and then looked up at Dio and then his theme didn't start playing? All right? Imagine. Imagine that. Or, or, like, how, I just, I don't know, man. How do you, how do you enjoy these things without the amazing god-tier music involved? Music is so important to the mood of everything. It's the spirit of the franchise, essentially. Yes! Yes! Both both uh, Zelda. Zelda always has some type of instrumental. Ocarina Time. Ocarina. Majora's Mask. Ocarina. Um, some type of uh, a, a guitar. Like, I think bongo drums. I think. I could be wrong. I do apologize if I'm wrong. And then a type of uh, blowing instrument. I think uh, air instrument. I can't remember what they call it. I don't know the technical term. Then, um, Skyward Sword has the harp. This game, you howl as the wolf. You know. Then, uh, even older Zelda games. You had the, uh, what is it? I think the Oracle of Ages had, like, a harp or something that you would play. And, and even when you weren't playing an instrument. Oh, the, uh, the pan flute of Spirit Tracks. Um... Yeah, yeah, but that's 
That's a big thing for me, man. I feel like, I feel like Scour, uh, what is it? Uh, Tears of the Kingdom and uh, Breath of the Wild would be way better if they had a lot more like music going on. But it's difficult because they just don't have. I said it's hard for me to give a f give a fuck about what's going on because there's just never any music playing. And same thing, like I said, with, jo with like JoJo's. They literally name stands after bands and songs. Killer Queen, Metallica, like come on. Imagine if it just didn't have music. Or instead of naming it Metallica, it was like Metal Man. Like just fuck. And tarot cards, yeah, stuff like that. It's fucking dope. Ah, this puzzle. Music breeds intimacy that bonds you to the game, essentially. Exactly. Exactly. Do you think I have any... No, genuinely. Genuinely. I'll do this right now, because this is super important. Fuck you, Squidward. No one cares. I will talk about this right now. If I go to my YouTube, I have several different Zelda songs saved. Several. Zel... Midna... I Actually, I have the entire Twilight Princess soundtrack on my phone for, like, going to... I have music... Yeah, I have music for trying to go to sleep from Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask, then Final Fantasy 13 and 15, and six, and then, you know, I've got the ending song of Final Fantasy 16 in here, and then I was mentioning, mentioning JoJo's. I have the theme of every Joe bro. I have Jonathan's theme, jo uh, Joseph's theme, Jotaro's theme, Giorno's theme and Josuke's theme alongside the intro song for all of them and then I, and now I, I recently added Jolene's theme and Jolene's intro as well like the music is good but if the music is bad I'm not I just I'm just it's gonna be really difficult for me to care because I promise the writing is probably not gonna be good enough for me to care without it have you played any of the newer Shantae games way forward makes good OSTs Dude, yeah, I played uh, the Shantae game on Xbox. I've played that one. I don't think I have a saved stream of it, though. I'd have to look. Anyways, what is it, Squidward? We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove. Okay, one follows you and one goes the opposite. And they can't jump on you, otherwise that'll fuck you up. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this by ear first. Okay. We're gaming. We're gaming. So I need to get one of these guys on that slot, on that, I need to get him like there, but I don't think he can get there. So I need to get I need to get him there and him up there. But how? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I see the mistake now. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. This is doable. Oh, I can't do that. That sucks. I think I just fucked myself there. Oh, well. I actually think I trapped myself now. <laughs> I just trapped myself. How do I... <laughs> Try again. I literally just trapped myself like a fucking buffoon. Oh boy. And. Okay. So now. I go this way. this let's see here 
I'm just gonna keep hitting random directions until something gets figured out. I see this taking a very long time, but that is okay. I might have actually just figured it out funny enough. Hold up, I think I'm close. Maybe. If I go up twice. I can undo whatever move I make, so that's fine. I know I can't because now he's jumping into the wall. Is it? Okay, that's not really helping anybody. Uh huh. I'm going in a circle now, that's good. I can't pass by that, so I can't pass the vibe check. I hate to see it. Hmm. I'm so dumb. Hold up. This is a I'm actually a fucking idiot. This is going to take me so long. That's okay. I'm not having a bad time. But I'm certainly not doing a good job. It's a it's not the hardest puzzle in the world, but I remember getting stuck on this as a kid for a very, very, very long time. Let because you can't That's the issue. Hold up, that's the problem I'm having. That's what you need to fix. They get off center and you need to get them on center. So he's off center, and I need to get I need to get him center with him. Maybe that will be a good enough move for it to fix itself. We'll see. We'll see. Have you played any of the newer? Uh, yeah, no. I've I've played one. Like I said, I don't know if it's like new or not, but I've played the Shantae game. That's on a what is it? That's on a Xbox. So. That's not helping anybody. Let me do that. Okay. Don't really know if that's helping any, but it's making something happen. No, that's not really going to help because that's just going to make them bump into each other. Nice. Um... They need to get one space from each other. They'll both be there, but then they'll be too close together. They need to get one more space away from each other, I think. Or one, one space closer. So I need to have a left or right movement with one moving and one not. And I'll have to do it that way. Because that right there will make it even more... Well, no, they'll still only be like one apart, technically. From like doing what I need them to do. We need the power of anime edgy, regular edgy, transform! Right, I might have to. I think I just trapped myself again. I trapped myself. I can't... How do I keep doing that? I keep literally trapping myself in the puzzle somehow. That's okay, though. I can pull us off. I'm kind of curious. Uh, oh, hold up, hold up. Trump, but I think music breeds. I'm going to just move the bonds. Not in tarot cards. There's an Alice in Wonderland deck that I want so badly, but fam won't let me 
have a full deck in the home. Oh, like your family won't let you have a full deck of like tarot cards in the home? I don't know why that would be like particularly a bad thing, but I know people's families like stress over different things, so I guess that makes sense. Let's see here. What do I do now? I need to use these upper corners somehow. I just don't know what's the correct way to go about it. That's my problem here. That makes them go that makes them get too close together. I don't need them that close together. I need them one space apart. puts them too far apart now. Well, that's one where it needs to be. I think I just figured it out too. I just accidentally figured it out. Hype and chat, he figured it the fuck out. Finally. Okay. Open portals and I'm just sitting here like bitch my craft already deals with that shit. Yeah, I mean, if you're already making portals, I feel like adding stuff to it wouldn't really affect it too much, genuinely. I will say I know very, very, very little about witchcraft, to be honest with you, Peaches. We yield passage to this. We yield passage to the sacred grove. Yeah, so if you ever do say something and it's just like right over my head, don't feel bad. I just have no idea. Okay, I think that might have been the last thing we're doing for the stream, but I did want to at least get to this. Can I, can I smell the sword, please? <gasps> That's the fanciest toothpick I've ever seen. It's blinding. Turn off the lights. Yes. Growl at it, Link. Show it who's boss. Ah, thanks, game. Thanks. I needed it. I needed that flashbang. What is this? Don't say it. Don't say it. Okay, we're good. I didn't say it. We're fine. The scene's passed. I didn't mess it up. <laughs> the sword accepted you as its master? Hell yeah! It's the scene from... Smash Bros. I can't believe they put it in this game. <laughs> I'm vet. My dog blew up after growling at a toothpick. <laughs> what could this, this thing is the embodiment of, e of the evil magic that Zant cast on you. Mm. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Hype and chat for the follow from Peaches Uwo. Thank you. Thank you. It jump scared me, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Careful. If you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best if we just leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast any time you wanted. Yes, since Zans was kind enough to give, us, give this to us. We should be thankful and use it all we can. And She's just so sly. I love it. If you need it, just call me. If you want to keep a low profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when you're human. 
but I can change you whenever. You can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp whenever you want by switching into wolf form. Hey, but listen, Link. I've got a little favor to ask. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. We saved Midna. We got a fancy toothpick. I'm ready to save the day. Grabs it and eats it as if it was a 3D Dorito. What? Are you saying Link's the type of person to eat a Dorito vertically? Um. What? <sighs> well, here we are. All right. So. How long, how far are we into the game now? We're a good 18 hours and 7 minutes, yeah. So. Chat, that was a good three hours of Twilight Princess for today. It took me way longer than it probably should have to beat the Ocean Temple. Ocean Temple. That We were in the ocean. I don't know if you knew it. I knew it, though. See, I didn't take my schizophrenic meds, so we're wherever I feel like it. Okay. That made the joke ten times funnier. The, um... What was it? But yeah, no. I had a fucking blast on here, per usual. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna get off and get all the other stuff I want to get done as soon as I can, anyways. I will look- I will see what we're playing tomorrow. I might hop on, do more Doki Doki Literature Club. I might hop on, do more Twilight Princess. I might hop on and do more Pokemon Conquest. I think I'll do Twilight Princess because I was, uh, I played a lot of Conquest on my other off day. So, I think I'll do more of this. Why not, right? But for now, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with me. Um, I look forward to streaming again, and, uh, yeah, wonderful, happy to meet you, Peaches, and glad to have you. Hopefully you've come back again another time, and, um, as of now, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, later, losers, hype and chat for Midna, best companion, change my mind, oh, wait, you can't, it's impossible.